Welcome back to the Chalky Milk Gang podcast. We're just back better than ever. Season three, episode 16, the 34th overall episode of this podcast. This is going to be a big, big podcast. It's going to be one of the 34 episodes we've done so far. Um, our topic today is just figuring out whether astrology signs mean anything because we don't really know uh some of us believe it's just some like voodoo magic and some of us believe they actually mean something so uh we have to pretty much figure that out and we have a great special guest for this she goes to the university of massachusetts but her real job is an astrology sign expert uh so phoebe broomstein welcome to the podcast thank you i'm really excited to be here that's crazy um but yeah so you're the <laughs> resident uh resident uh astronomy sign expert zodiacs and whatever astrology yeah. all the words but all mm -hmm. the um chocolate milk reviews happen on this podcast we also got tyler and will here it's gonna be great who wants to go first uh i mean i guess i'll jump into it i i have a, a returning uh turning chocolate milk i'm back at school i haven't had too much time to adventure into boston to find new chocolate milks but Today we got the Nesquik double chocolate. Oh. I, it's funny. I thought I grabbed the vanilla flavor because I wanted to try doing something different, but it's, That's it's not chocolate. Not milk. Hmm? If it's vanilla, uh, yeah, that they have. I they have it at CVS yeah. of all the things. They also had strawberry, but That's, I would you know, can't do that. No strawberry. Right, right. Um, yeah, we're gonna get into this in a second. It's it's, it's the usual type of thing. Uh, last person recommended it was Andrew Badesky. It's if we remember correctly, it's a lot like regular Nesquik, but just not quite as good. Um, right? Solid pour right there. Um, but yeah. Kind of a ton. Yeah, it's it's still a, ooh. I, I don't think I shook it or something because it's even worse than the last time I had it. I don't like that at all. Oh my God. Make sure you shake your chocolate milk. Ew. It tastes so syrupy. That's the problem. Is you can taste how like, they just put the chocolate syrup and then the milk in and then they shook it and they're like all right we're done and then it undid itself and it tastes very very room there you go it's like chalky wow. i feel like sometimes it's not like c-h-o-c-c-y but like c-h-a-l-k-y oh yeah yeah oh, yeah maybe it's not as bad as i drink it a little more but i don't a little chalky chalky yeah it just doesn't taste like natural chocolate maybe i'm just too used to having a so much promised land from being yeah. home, but we did spoil yeah. ourselves mm -hmm. i'll just go really quick i got the Stu leonard's aka the will hodge classic because it's all i had for the first like month of the podcast quick little, little pour action oh it's so much darker than trader joe's that's pretty hype mm -hmm. and just as usual it's delicious does it taste good it's like, honestly that's intense it does it does there taste go. good that is intense that's awesome. Um, while you're sipping that, I'm going to put mine at a 5-2. Not a fan of this today. It's probably better than on other days. Maybe I just got a faulty one, but yikes. Yeah, I gave it I gave it somewhere in like the high sixes, maybe 7-0. So. I had it, it wasn't that bad. You're totally yeah. right. I think you got a tough batch. They they saw Tyler, and they're like, oh, let's just let's just spice him up today. Let's give him uh, somewhere he's going to be like, ooh. It's not yeah, good. You got a you got a faulty faulty bottle. I'll give this a a nine zero because milk you got to open it and then like the next day it's better for some reason. I don't know why. I don't make the rules. I just rate the chalky. There you go. It's an interesting theory. You perfect the rules. I've noticed that so far. Wait, so Tyler is Nesquik, but Phoebe Buckets also is Nesquik. So I got that? the original. There you That's go. Right here. Should I review it right now? Yeah, yeah, if you want. No, 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 no. Just show the chocolate. Yeah, just, just look, look at it and yeah, tell um, us how it makes you feel. <laughs> honestly, I don't drink cow milk, but I needed to get this for this, and this was in the convenience store next to my house, um, which is intense. And you know, we're just gonna we're gonna dive right in. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's some. It's there. It's uh, <laughs> It's chocolate milk um honestly it's not bad i would not drink it ever but so like taste wise that's like a that's like a nine but then it's like cow milk so i gotta do that's like four points i'm gonna give for it bad vibes four i'm gonna give it a five yeah okay for bad vibes. 
I was I was very worried that you're just gonna drop a rookie score, but you but you uh, gave it a five two. So I respect yeah. that. Um, you know, love that analysis. I disagree with you. I think that Squick is uh, is great, but you know it is right. really, not not like great, <laughs> but it, it 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 does what it needs to do. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, but should I go now? Yeah. Um, no, nah, you don't have to do it this time. All right. I got a. Uh, this was reviewed on the Instagram a few days ago. We got the freaking uh, hood chocolate low fat milk. It has the uh, no artificial growth hormones. Um, it's calcium four or five. It has this cool guy. It has, like, yeah. Sunglasses on. There. It has like sunglasses on there. Positive um, vibes only. Yeah. So you guys had some negative vibe chocolate milk with like the mess. Mm-hmm. This is the ultra positive vibes. Mm-hmm. Um, but. The question is, does Hood really do well on these? And the answer is no. Um, they just – they haven't scored very well. I gave one like a 4-5 at one point, but – Well, I got two things to say, Alex. One, the the cow on the bottle reminds me of Chester the cheetah from Cheetos yep. with like those cool it. sunglasses. And two, why – what makes this milk different from the other Hoods we've tried? I'm really not sure whatsoever. <laughs> um it is better than the uh, like little small hood chocolate milks, not the cartons, but the ones you can get at the mm. store. Um, that one I gave a four or five. This is a six four, uh, just as I rated on the Instagram. I don't cap over there; I only say facts, so I'm gonna stick with it. But um, you know, this does provide positive vibes, even though it's not the highest score because of the cow. And one of my favorite things about chocolate milk is the art presented on the cartons. And, you know, when you're selling it to the people, you got to have some cool art. I really respect the sunglasses on the cow. So it definitely provides good vibes, even though it's a 6'4". Right. Yeah, Chima's big on the artwork. hmm I just, uh, I'm big on the details. And uh, okay. I, think it's, I think it's important to know. Yeah. I don't know. I've had the, the boo-boo. I mean, we've all had the hood before. But you get it, and it just kind of tastes like kitty stuff and it's gross you know we only drink professional adult chocolate milk on this channel and when we get the kids stuff it's just not as superior yeah Yeah, we have refined palates exactly absolutely (laughs) um yeah Mm -hmm. yeah, chocolate milk you just gotta get it right um you know there's chocolate milk for when you're five and this could definitely be one of them but uh you know when you're when you're at the age of us like seven eight gotta go for some promised land it's gotta be great Mm. for sure yeah i don't know a uh, pretty simple analysis from today you know Absolutely. how we do it always got to break down the chalky milks before we get into it but today we're talking about astrology what it means why it's stupid and our <laughs> resident expert phoebe who i have already slammed in the intro yeah at uh, work yeah. we call her uh <laughs> phoebe broomsticks i don't know why yeah. but shout out adam um she's shout awesome. out adam. yeah adam adam's adam's great we love adam i thought uh, is Phoebe Buckets a nickname, or is that a different Buckets? That, that's still her. We oh, also call yeah. her Phoebe Football, um, Phoebe No Dials, all the good stuff. No, no Dials. No Never Dials for Phoebe. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you're also a uh, star on the Pickle Pals podcast. Oh, the yeah. Pickle we podcast. have, like, a important – it's, like, a rival. It's, it's an introduction – you know we're not there yeah, yet. Yeah, you said this three weeks ago. So uh, once again, yeah, start? like it's it's spectacular. Like we work really hard on it, and we close those deals because it's important. And it's like an Alexander Chima hate account. Like it's just we're all haters of Alexander Chima. So it's well, like perfect. You, you, know, a- you don't get to the top without without turning a few noses the other direction. And uh, rivalries agree. usually go both ways. So at the moment, okay. you know. It just seems like you're kind of idolizing us, but using negative energy in that way. That's so, thank right. you for the hate. Yeah, you're welcome. Any publicity I, is like good publicity. So, I gotta exactly. say, I, I just think what you're saying is cat. Uh, <laughs> cat alert. That's horrific. Where did where did I come from? From my desk. Uh, okay. But, yeah, just recognize that you know we. I'm really excited for pickle pals, and yeah. uh, we'll get into the actual topic soon but just the fact of the matter is um you got to respect your elders we've been in this business for longer 
Uh, we have more subscribers. We have less subscribers, and we have more. But like subscribers. three of them are the people in Pimple Pals. You can lose those really fast. I think Kirsten did unsubscribe. Yeah, and then she subscribed know. again. Thank you. Okay. That counts as two subscribers there. Does it though? I don't think it does. Then we would be down to 998 subscribers. And yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I heard you round it up to 1,000. And yeah. I think that's, well, that's do you old. not? We always round up. Yeah. Well, technically, we could round, round up to 10,000. You know, it's all subjective. No, it's not. Well, I mean. Okay. So is it, can you round up from zero? Is that is that possible? I, you I definitely know. can. Uh -huh. You could do whatever well, you want. I mean, if we're speaking like you know, mathematically, if you're rounding right. up to the nearest 10,000, zero is a multiple of 10,000. So you can't round up. We have three subscribers already. Oh, well, my yeah, can round up. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Let's talk about astrology. Yeah. Because I know I, all of our I, listeners I, just want to hear the expert talk about it. Um, Where did we get expert? Is like, I, I just want to get a disclaimer that I don't yeah, really know resume. anything. <laughs> <laughs> so what we what we have to do for the chalky milk boys is uh every single special guest you have to send this little resume that just says you know what you're about what you do what chocolate milks you like what your palate is just you know why should we have you as a special guest and phoebe's okay. was just 11 pages about astronomy signs and zodiacs and astrology too um yeah so phoebe what I think it's I think it's just uh, I think it's cap. I don't think I don't think it really okay. matters. So why why do why do these signs matter? What's their importance? Um, that's a really good question. You know, it's just like how it is. It's just like the deals of the day, and it's just what happens. Um, you wake up, and then you go to bed, and you're one side. So I want to hear what everyone's sign is right now, actually. Well, first, I would like to say that Phoebe and Alex speak the same language. So it's no, really I just cool make, to I hear. Did, I got that from him 100%. No, I've never not, like, well, I've, I've just a good influence on her. Yeah, it's you've sad. Be, you've I've, become fluent in speaking whatever nonsense he says. Yeah. yeah. Just a, just a sequence of buzzwords. Yeah. Yeah. The ball. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I'm an Aries because I was born on April 2nd. Okay. There you go. And then I'm a Gemini, so I was born in late May, so. Right. And um, Alex, what about I'm you? A, I'm a Pisces. I was born in March, uh, March 19th. Um, you know, here's my first thing that just really just, I don't really understand about these signs. Okay. They're all based on birthdays. So, like, all these no, January they're people, they're, like, the same person, and then all the February, like, but how, why do the birthdays matter? Like, you have three signs. You have your big three. So I do. I know some stuff. No, this no, is no, like, about that. This I think the big it. three is me. You have three about. signs, and it's based on where you were born, what time you were born, and your birthday. So you would need all of those to know those. So it's not just your birthday. Yeah. Um, but the main you one birthdays is like within the first six months of the year. That's kind of crazy. That's true. That's true. Yeah, it's awesome. Right. So okay. how many? It, there's twelve for each of the three that you could have right like there's what? 12 Wait, sun, so you, sun like you could well you could be like an, like a triple yeah so you have three yeah. of them i like you have to like put that in somewhere to figure out what the three are um but yeah like you have like two more signs next to like what you are gotcha right sure we'll yeah like that. maybe i actually wrote you guys some horoscopes and i would love to read them to you all right our yeah, first ever right. horoscope reading live on air. This is so yeah. exciting. Yeah, we're definitely live. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, it's so I notebook? definitely want to start with Pisces because there's a lot coming, or not a lot. So in your future, oh. maybe this week, Pisces, no deal. You're not getting a single deal this week. Fine. Um, but maybe buckets. buckets. Like maybe. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and then who's the Aries? Will. That's me. You're winning the lottery this week. Really? Like, the son told me that. So. So I should and go then, out and buy a lottery ticket right now. You should buy like forty because. I mean, you're right. You're right. And then the Gemini. <clears throat> you're gonna attend class this week. No chance. I think I think you're lying. Whoa. Yeah. Spooky. Dude, it was astrology readers really be like you're going to breed this week. 
No. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's really how it be. That's what my co-star tells me every day. It's like, you're going to be in a situation today. And then, yeah, I do end up in one. Mm -hmm. So what I get from that, I just don't really get where, I don't get any of it. Because it yeah. just seems like, you know, you looked at me and you said, oh, no deal guy. No deal right. at all. And then just, but I would do that to any Pisces. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, I actually know all 12 of the astronomy signs and mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I don't know if any of these were mentioned so I don't really get what you're talking about there's the okay there's the pieces there's the libra there's the zebra there's the cap and corn there's the sagittarius there's the squarius there's okay. the aditageous there's the nicarius <laughs> the uh aquilarius the airs the taurus and the leo so that yeah. was based off of what I looked up on Google. And what okay. Wait, can you, hold on. Can you repeat repeat the last one real quick? I didn't uh, that. Leo's. The Leo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, right. also, Stevie, I texted this to you in November, I think. So what? am I wrong? Right. That, or like what's going on? Um, You might be a little off, but I think like the effort was there. I'm going to give that like a 7-2 like a because Let's go. We're I appreciated quick. it. Yeah, yeah, like definitely better than Nesquik. So yeah, I honestly don't know if I can name all of them, so I'm not going to. But I know that that wasn't all of them. I think you lied on your resume, then. If you just I you told 100%. Us you're an astronomy, uh, astrology thingy expert, but you know we still believe you are. But you know you got a lot right. of ways to go. But like, why can't people believe in astrology? Like, why are we why are we haters? Like, you guys are kind of haters, and I want to know why. Well, I mean, it's it's fun, right? It's a fun yeah. thing to do, but just from the sense of some people take it so seriously, and it's like I this is gonna like happen. That, I just it's, it's so silly. Be like, this like guy's a date star, a person because of birthday. Kind of That's why. Yeah, like, you can do that because you can do anything. But then I can also call it bad, stupid because it's kind of yeah, crazy. like me and like fantasy football. Like fantasy's in the name. Like let's start there. Crazy. Name one football player. Carter Smith. <laughs> yes yes carter i thought that's a funny story everyone kept calling carter carter football and you were like he's a foot like like the football player and i like went to my boyfriend and was like what team does <laughs> does carter smith play for and he was like that's not real he plays he for the cowboys no he doesn't yeah he does that's his favorite team okay <laughs> that's i love that they went like three in the three and four this year that's why yeah Tom Brady, Tim Brady, Super Bowl, Blaine Gabbert, Tom Brady, um, Gronk, Gronk, all these like. That's how do I know sound. that's even real? That could be fake. Oh, it's real. Yeah, we his actual like, his, his first name is Gronk, and his have last name him? is Johnson. Like, have you seen these people in real life? Gronk Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, I I've seen someone has. I uh I saw Tom Brady play for the Patriots a few times. Maybe uh, you're lying. I saw him at Gillette Stadium, the freaking right. uh, Razor and whatnot. Okay. Um, I also saw this guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Carter Smith played for the Cowboys 80 times. I saw him play for Northwestern Mutual, and it was, like, wild. <laughs> oh. No. Yeah. Shout out Andrew Badesky, our favorite uh, financial uh, sales uh, life insurance. Guy. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I love, I love how, you know, the um, – the uh, signs or whatever the zodiac see it's really yeah. good with the football um but one thing mm -hmm. i've one thing i've noticed uh so i looked on this website and you could uh you can make your own horoscope or whatever just by figuring out what your birthday is or whatever because that's what right. they are basically it's just your birthday um my they give you elements so my yeah and my elements water and i'm thinking like I okay so that's i'm a water bender like that's how it works. So my question for you, okay. the resident uh, astrology sign expert, is what is the difference between this and Avatar? Because I see no difference. I think it's the same thing. I think it's very uh, obviously like that's what the show is based off. Yeah, we're all yeah. I love it. Yeah, I can get behind that. You're yeah. like a firebender, then. That's fire. Really? Fire. That's super cool. Yeah. I mean, see, here's the here's the problem with that though, because the other okay. official resource for figuring out uh, which vendor you are is you go to takethequiz.com, 
And okay. then they have the official like quiz that shows you which bender you are. Oh yeah. yeah. So are we gonna yeah. validate Nickelodeon to be expert on this? I don't know. Doesn't maybe doesn't add, doesn't add up. Hey, Nickelodeon's great. They did the NFL broadcast. Hey, shout out Trubisky, Money Mitch, okay. MVP. Mm-hmm. There you go. Y'all love that. So what's the MVP of uh, Zodiac signs, Stevie? Um. I'm a Libra, so I'm going to have to say Libras. Yeah. Why is selfish. I cat? I just don't believe you are. No, Libras are really selfish. Like, that's true. Oh, okay. 100%. Wait. So, we haven't talked anything about these signs at all. We, we got to figure that out. We got to figure so, that out. So, so, you just said um, whatever your sign is makes, okay. makes you sound like selfish or whatever. Just getting yeah, all the deal. That's like the stereotype of it. So what are what are our stereotypes based off of our things? Pisces, your water sign, very emotional, which I feel like is accurate. Yeah. <laughs> um, sensitive, and they are reserved, but I definitely wouldn't say that you're reserved like, at all. Um, <laughs> Aries is like the they're like the angry one. They're a fire sign. They're very opinionated, very strong headed. I don't know. Are you like that? Lots of strong heads. Uh, well, I was going to wait till you said this for all of the signs that are present, but I think that the whole point of Zodiacs is like um, confirmation error. Sure. Like anything you say, you can find in somebody. Yeah. So like, sure, if you said I was strong headed, right. I mean, yeah, I guess. But if you were like, you're going to be on the more like agreeable side, I'd be like, yeah, I guess I'm that too. Right. You know? I mean, maybe if you wanted to close the deal, like, yeah. Um, yeah, so everybody's yeah. strong headed if that's how they close the deal and get buckets, you know? Yeah. Um, Tyler, Football. Gemini, everyone hates Geminis. I'm sorry. Like, that's like <laughs> a big thing. Like, everybody doesn't like Geminis. Well, everybody but likes I, Tyler. I was going to say, see, it's already not adding up. So it's like fine. Yeah. So. I mean, maybe you're like a rising something else that's better. Wait, you can know. rise and become a... You have, like, a rising sign, um, something else, and a sun sign, which is, like, a zodiac. Did I just rise in the morning and then de-rise? Yeah, I, so. I usually you, just you rise when it's time to close deals. Yeah. yeah. I heard that Aries, are, like, they close a lot of deals. Like, that's definitely something I've heard. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess that's the case, and I, I can't prove them wrong, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. But I would definitely say, I do know a little bit about Gemini, I only know that it's um, it's uh, synonymous with being like a twin or having two yeah. sides of personality, which I like. So like technically, I think that means that I'm like two faced or something. Just whatever. Yeah. But I also like um, my my younger siblings are born just a, a couple of days after me. They're also right. Gemini and they're twins. So oh. that's always a really cool like thing for me to that's think about. Wild. Your that parents three, have three are they? Gemini's. Sorry. Your parents have. Wait, you're all Gemini's, like all three of you? Uh, there's one who isn't, but three of us are, yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, there's six like, sides of them. Yeah. Like, they basically have, like, seven kids because you That's have much. That's crazy. Wild. Is this, like, thinking... a club, like the Gemini club, and, like, one person didn't get in? Or, like, what's going on? Yeah, it's kind of mean. Yeah. No, 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 no. I was looking up uh, astrology memes before this because I wanted to try to poke fun at astrology as much as possible yeah. and one of the ones that stuck with me is like a gemini goes into a restaurant and or and with like you know goes on a date and he asks for a table for three or some bullshit and i was like okay <laughs> so it's the freaking twin meme all right yeah i mean it makes sense to me but definitely mm-hmm. there you go love that i'm looking on this website here that uh tells you all about these signs or whatever and do you mind if I just read off like my strengths, weaknesses? See yeah, no, ahead, I want to hear it. Oh, that's fine. Break down. Um, so it's say my strengths: compassionate, artistic, okay, intuitive, gentle, wise, and musical. My weaknesses are fearful, overly trusting, sad, <laughs> desire to escape. Re- it's just sad. Sad. <laughs> You're just sad. <laughs> You're yeah. just a sad guy. Really so uh, that, sad. Makes sense. that makes a lot of sense. Uh, <laughs> desire to escape reality and mm. can be a victim or a major. So, that's a martyr. 
Good man, <laughs> yeah. Same, same thing. You're like down Somalia. bad right now. <laughs> I saw yeah, sad. he's sad. Like, he's just on. always down That's bad. Rough. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh so based yeah, that's what I'm the, saying. Everybody is at least for both sides, you know. Maybe. Like probably. It's Honestly, kind of vague words. I agree with that. You know those personality quizzes? Like you get like four letters. Like yeah. I don't agree with those because I would answer. I do answer them differently every single time I do it, and like not like I get a different one. Yeah. So I feel like that's like one of those things. Like that's not real either. But also, I just feel like astrology. It's just like a deal that some people want to close and some people don't. You know, it's just That's like all these that. deal references. I don't know. <laughs> You're just big on the deals, big on the dials, Obviously. no dials. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. No um, dials. It also says for me, my greatest overall compatibility are Virgos okay. and Tauruses. So really? what, what does that my mean? My mom's a Taurus. That's awesome. My mom's a Taurus. Oh my God! Does that Gross. mean we're related? Probably. <laughs> Whoa. There you yeah, go. I see it. Um, makes sense. Um, yeah, you should probably date a Virgo or a Taurus. So our moms, or you know, a Virgo. There you go. <laughs> That's it's awesome. Um, and it's saying that my day is Thursday. Like, okay. I don't know what that means. You're just That's gonna have a good day. Like, why day. wouldn't you take that? That's a Thursday good thing to do. Closing day. Um, and it's saying my, uh, my favorite sports team is the Red Sox. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> what does it say about your chocolate milk preferences? Yeah. Uh, fair life, fair view. What's the one you don't like? Fair life. They, they treat fair their life. cows poorly. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's like a real reason to not like it. That's, I appreciate it. Yeah. That is yeah, the unironic reason why we like like why we've outlawed them on this on this channel we're the opposite Imagine of a I it, like not knowing that that would somebody been. did that once tyler's friend yeah we don't talk about that. oh yeah we cried did you cut them off you're not friends anymore i don't speak to them anymore wow it's intense dan if you're listening to this go fuck I, uh, go fuck yourself i already said yeah. it. yeah <laughs> no we, no dan was dan was good beside you no dan was nice dan was nice dan's on me running the enemy that's all disappointing uh anyway i'm gonna read off my description now because i googled it real easy um i'm a gemini uh my color is light green yellow oh ew, ew. <laughs> my day is wednesday wednesday is fine i'm good with that okay um, greatest overall compatibility sagittarius and aquarius okay bars those are two of them lucky numbers yeah. five five is my favorite number so we'll take it Okay, nice. astrology might be real then because that's wait, where do you guys crazy. reading this? Google uh, <laughs> on that uh, on that website, but in the group, yeah, group chat. And then uh, my element is air, which is the same as the one I got on the uh, on the air. I got an airbender on the quiz, so that's how you know it. Okay, I'm an air sign too. Now we're gonna get to the meat of it though. So strength, gentle, affectionate. I swear Chima had both of those on his too. Uh, curious, adaptable, ad ability to learn quickly and exchange ideas. So like left brain vibes. Weaknesses are nervous, inconsistent, and indecisive. I mean, yeah. Who is not, you know? At sure. least your weakness isn't yeah. sad. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> pretty hard. That is true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also Do you agree with that? Like, does that make sense for you? Like, does that does that describe you at all? Sure. <laughs> Situationally, I, okay. I've been nervous in situations. I don't know. Outside of that, I like this better though. Gemini likes it. Just has stuff that I it says calling that I like. I like music book who doesn't like music hold on whatever you're, just... you're big into music <laughs> well i was gonna say it's one of chima's positives is musical and he, no he's the yeah, least I'm musical person i know I like, no offense. Can sing. like i just get that vibe like theater kid vibes a lot he can did, barely uh, speak I, yeah speaking of time <laughs> i did chorus till uh sixth grade um i was in like the high level chorus and then i just wasn't by with it so then i quit and okay so that that was like, and then I did uh, violin till eighth grade, and violin. I was yeah, violin, 
and I would like pay a lot of money to see that like yeah a, a surplus of money my, my parents thought it was pretty funny so like I was the best second violin in the land like in the country but I was the what does that mean? first violin so yeah and uh for, like when they put you in chairs yeah. like, so, like I was last seat for that where I played the flute there that was so mean that's crazy that's tough um it's not nice. it is what it is I guess but like so the first violin, they have all this like crazy music, like chamber sort of stuff, like Beethoven, Mozart's. Second violin, they're just doing like Mary had a little lamb. So I was great at that. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but then, but then, it, but then they like put me in the first violins because they didn't have enough. And during the concerts, I just didn't know half the music. So I was doing like the air bow. Okay. And then my parents were like, yeah, I can tell. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I played cello and I didn't practice once and at the concert in fourth grade my mom said I looked like visibly disinterested because it was so boring you know is that like the big one like it's the big one but you're still sitting down it's not okay. the bass not okay. the bass the cello yeah I used to pretend to play my flute in the concert because I couldn't my mom made me do it for like five years and I, I can't read music like I can't that was not it's not astronomy mm. signs or whatever yeah can i say my stuff now though oh yeah so aries a fire element pretty sure i was a an airbender so already some uh in inconsistencies my strengths courageous determined confident enthusiastic optimistic honest and passionate yeah who's not most of those um freaking liar what <laughs> sorry one of them is honest i just wanted to be like he's uh, never honest what are you talking right. about he's uh, lying right now <laughs> uh, weaknesses <laughs> impatient <laughs> moody short-tempered those are all kind of the same words just in different ways but okay maybe impulsive and aggressive i would yeah. say definitely not aggressive or impulsive yeah you're more chill i think by. one of my weaknesses is that i'm not impulsive enough so right there yeah um, and then likes, this is kind of funny. Comfortable clothes. Raise a hand if you don't like comfortable clothes. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, taking on leadership roles, physical challenges. Those are both true. And then individual sports, I'd actually say I don't like. And then Aries dislikes, inactivity, delays, work that does not use one's talents. Okay. Know, Honestly, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. I think that if you didn't tell me your sign, I, I wouldn't be able to guess Aries, but I would have guessed you are a fire sign from the way that you speak. Okay. Cool. Like I get that vibe. And what? fire signs are like <laughs> they're like opinionated. Like I got that vibe. Okay. I would have guessed that. Well, I'm opinionated about zodiac signs because I, right. I think it's funny how stupid they are. Okay. Yeah, that, I'd say usually I'm not so Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the vibe I get, you know. Maybe from the I'll other podcast, makes sense. I'll take it as a compliment. I think it's a good thing. It's fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, one of my Pisces likes is being alone. <laughs> like, I, I don't... Wait, wait, wait hold on. Like I feel like it's the, not like a choice you make. I feel wait, like it's like... I got the just, same thing for dislikes. Tyler, we're just, we're just capping right now. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Will, you gotta, you gotta join us now. You have to... Fine. <laughs> what was it? No, I got the same. I got the same thing for dislikes, though. Or for it's like you don't like being alone. Uh, to be fair, that was the one thing that might have been accurate. Oh, okay. What was it? It's 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 like I said. It, sometimes some of these things are just like today you're gonna wake up and you're gonna go outside, and everyone's like, yes. no, guessed it. it. I'm planning to go outside today. I have to tell don't you something. Though, it's real. It's I like didn't go outside today. So that would have been inaccurate. Uh, that's oh, crazy. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, like, were you just like ripping dials all day? Yes, a hundred million percent. Yeah, that's that's the amount of dials. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Um, yeah, what was it that was that was fun going through? Definitely uh, a lot of cap. I think. Do we have any yeah. good conclusions on the validity or invalidity of zodiac signs? Um, based off this conversation. And just the facts presented today, I think, right. are completely bogus. I really okay. I think if we're gonna if we're gonna really just like dive into this, like 
we should um we should just wear our, like our uh, clown costumes and just okay. play the circus, circus music. theme song. Yeah. And uh, just walk around. Okay. Uh, any last advice for you to give us, Phoebe, on you know how to approach this in the future? Or... Um, I think we're gonna have to refer back to the zodiac signs, and if Alex Shima does not close a deal in the next week, uh, it might it might be real. Oh, also, targeted. If you if if Tyler attends class, I don't know. Like it but might be real. What if and I lastly, don't win the lottery? Uh, no, but it, like if you do win the lottery, you have to believe in. <laughs> like that, okay, that's deal. like not fair if you don't. But if I don't win the lottery, that you means can believe it's fake. whatever you want. You know. Well, I, okay, that's a little bit, that just a little one sided. That time, and then it'll get wrong, get it right the next time you buy the lottery ticket. So you just have to keep buying them. Yeah, you need to spend yeah, yeah, yeah. dollars on and that. And then, because if I if I didn't win, then it's I didn't do it right. So it's not the it's, zodiac's yeah. fault. But no, then if yeah, I do it's win, fault. it's the zodiac's fault for giving me the dust. This is the Aries and you talking right now. Like it's kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, for sure. It's all fire. Wait, what what does that even it's, mean? It's this courageous is, and comfortable clothes, you know. Yeah, it's like cap and corn in a zebra. Cap and corn. No, but like cap when people are like, oh, that's the Pisces in you, or like, oh, that's the Gemini. <laughs> it's the sad like, in you because yep. you're always sad. Yeah, that's because of the that. day you were born. Yeah, and that doesn't make any sense. So. It's not even the day you were born. It's the, the it's month. The, it's or like the, the month. The 22nd like, to the 22nd it's of the, the month. It's the time frame. Yeah. But of like, course. I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, what do you think? We have no reasonable conclusions, and I think that's what was bound to happen anyway. We all disagreed and yelled at each other until, until we got bored. Congrats, guys. Nothing accomplished. Good job, everybody. I think we've conclusively proven the validity of Zodiac signs, but it's up to the listener to figure out what our conclusion was. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's, like, really coded. I love it. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, it's, it it's to make us look good. Use mm-hmm. it as Whatever you want. You know? as, you, as you want, you know? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a free country. If you like, you know, believing in deities and stuff, uh, yeah. go for it. And if you don't, then then don't go for it. And I I, okay, I think that's a pretty simple way to end that off. So thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> I, I I'd say these zodiac ast- astrology signs. There is legit as silk almond milk. So not legit. Fire silk almond milk's fire. Two point Wait, guys, guys, I'm having uh-huh. an astrological premonition. That the viewer okay. is going to like the video. No chance. Right oh, now. Are you serious? Dude, that's that's the horoscope too. Yeah. Oh my the horoscope God. for all signs. <laughs> when subscribe. you see this, you're supposed to like, comment, subscribe, share, tell your yeah. parents. Share on Spotify. Follow on yeah. Instagram. Right. Yes. Okay. We're gonna keep pumping out the Instagram content. Uh, we're all back at school. We have a new a new round of people to uh, interview with Chalky Milk. To uh, we have more areas to find new chalky milks. We're gonna keep it rolling. Uh, so follow us. Uh, we are on the road to a thousand. We're just like two or three more. So once yeah, uh, once, up. The pickle, once the pickle podcast resubscribes, we'll be there. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let us know. Don't follow them. Go unsubscribe to the pickle podcast. Let us know when uh, you guys actually <laughs> come out with an episode because it seems like you guys are just gonna be in this like planning period for like a five yeah. period. For like three weeks because it's gonna be planned, you know, like definitely more than this, like a lot more planned than this. <laughs> so that's all we need. Yeah, content for the people. Right. You know what I mean? A hundred percent. Yeah, but Thebes, thanks for coming on. Um, I thought this was entertaining. Uh, yeah. We sort of just rambled, but like that's not a bad thing. Okay. Um, definitely just like, you know, stay tuned for more content in the future. We're thinking about. Mm-hmm. This is like a new rule for us. I don't know if we've discussed this, but pretty much podcasts every Wednesday. Uh, we're okay. considering that. Um, and then just, you know, content on the Instagram when we feel like it. And, you know, we're just, we're, we're on that. We're just going to keep yeah. this up. Never going to quit. Right. Just gonna stay. This is definitely a deal that's like closing. Not Chima's, but everyone else. Like, yes, the deal is closing. There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah, any last thoughts? 
No. There you go. <laughs> lots of Beat lots the dead of dead horse with that freaking jump. There you go. <laughs> I'm so lots sorry. Of, lots of last <laughs> thoughts here. Um, but hey, till next time. See ya. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>